Welcome back, everyone. We are your hosts, Sathak, Sunny, and Shoria. You are our hardcore fans, and this is our Monday football podcast. Um, a late, of course, a late Merry Christmas. We Christmas has just gone by. Boxing Day has gone by. We've got a few results to discuss and predict. So over to you, Sunny, and let's start with the predictions, and we'll discuss last week's results afterwards. Yeah, yeah. A great week of Boxing Day football. Now on to our results from last week. Last week. We've all done pretty poorly for the last couple of weeks. I got three points, Southak got four points, and Shora got five points. So Southak got five points, and also Shora got five points. Which leaves Soria in the lead with 51 points, Southak 41 points, and me 37 points. So I have a bit of catching up to do here. Yeah, you're probably going to have to um, try your best, but let's go on to the prediction. So, first game. Okay. First up, today at 3 p.m. Crystal Pilots versus Leicester City. Leicester City have been in pretty decent form with a 2 2 draw versus Man U. Palace haven't been in great form at all. And I think Leicester will win 3 1. Uh, my prediction is that Leicester will come away with a 2 0 win. I think that Leicester will come away with a 1 0 win. Next up, Chelsea versus Aston Villa. And what is going wrong at Chelsea? They haven't won a single away game in, I think, four or five games this season. But this is at home. Uh, Villa have been um, the master beating big teams, Liverpool, this season, Arsenal this season. So I think this ended a 2 2 draw. Uh, even I think that um, it will come with a draw, but a 2 um, a 1 0 draw. I think that. Um... If Chelsea will win 1-0 because uh, they're doing well at home, but still, Villa are, they used to be, the, well, I think, yeah, Villa, even though Villa are good at killing big teams, I, I predict that Chelsea will win 1-0 and I really hope that they win. Yeah, next up, Everton versus Man City. And this is going to be a pretty good game, Carlo Angelotti versus Pep Guardiola, two of the biggest managers in the history of football. And I think these two masterminds will draw one all. Uh, so both teams in decent form, um, but I still think that Man City will um, be the better team and come away with a 2-1 win. I think that Man City will win 3-1. Next up, Brighton versus Arsenal. And this fixture has developed into a kind of relegation scrap, as you can see. Brighton sit in 16th, Arsenal in 15th, even after a positive draw, even after a positive result against Chelsea, Arsenal still in 15th. But I think Brighton will add to their misery. Neil Malpo scoring and Brighton to win 2-1. Uh, I predict that um, it will end up as a 1-0 draw. I think that uh, Arsenal will win 3-0 with Bakayo Saka at least having one goal involvement. And um, Arsenal, one of their goals will be a penalty. Yeah. Uh, next up, Southampton versus West Ham. And two teams that have kind of slipped off in the last few games. So Southampton have only scored one goal in the past three games and have lost one and only got two points in the last three games. And also West Ham, a 2-2 scrappy draw against Brighton. Two teams that aren't in the best of forms. So, uh, but... I think Southampton are a pretty good team, but the loss of Danny Ings is pretty hard. But I still think Theo Walker, Neil, uh, Ward Prowse, and Che Adams will carry them to a 2 1 win. Uh, just as you said, Che Adams, Ward Prowse, Walcott, um, all in pretty good form. I think Walcott's uh, goal got denied by VAR yesterday, but we don't talk about that right now. And I think Southampton will win 2 1. I think that um, West Ham will win 2-1. Even though they haven't been in the best of form, I think they can still pull themselves through against the Saints. And West Brom versus Leeds. And let's talk about Big Sam for a minute. What a result he's had at Anfield. A one all draw. He's told his defenders, stay in there. Liverpool will give West Brom one chance at least in the game. The West Brom defenders have obliged and they drew one all at Anfield. A stadium which many teams fear to go to. Massive result for West Brom. And 
Leeds, on the other hand, had a 1-0 controversial win against Burnley. So I think this game will end another 1-0 draw for West Brom. Big Sam getting another point in a survival for relegation. So even though Big Sam did just about manage to get one point yesterday against Liverpool, I still think that uh, they won't be able to stop Leeds. Both Leeds promoted sides, um, Leeds had not having the best defence, but I still think that Leeds will win 2-1. I think that after um, after that win against, uh, uh, sorry, draw against Anfield, I think that West Brom can win uh, 1-0. Next up. Another relegation scrap, Burnley versus Sheffield United. And Sheffield United have equaled the worst record for any team in English football with only two points in the first 15 games. So I think Burnley with a Sean Dyche masterclass, a 1 0 win to Burnley. Uh, even though I think that Burnley will win 1 0, and that's not just because of uh, like the masterclass of Sean Dyche but also because of Sheffield United's terrible form. I think that Burnley will win 2-0 after with Sean Dyche having a good team talk and Sheffield United just capitulating. Yeah. Next up, Man United versus Wolves. Two teams that drew this week. So, and I think that Man United have been in pretty decent form and I think they will beat Wolves 2-1. Uh, same here, both teams in half decent form. Yesterday, Wolves um, gave me a late goal to um, deny three points for Spurs, and they got one point. And even Manu recently beating Leeds 6 2, and I think it will end up as a 2 1 win for Manu. I think that uh, Manchester United will win 2 0. Podence will come close to scoring, and Fernandez will score a goal, whether it be a penalty or an absolute screamer. And next up, a London derby, Spurs versus Fulham. And my God, my team Spurs haven't been in the greatest of forms. Six points in the last five games, including two losses in the last three games. And I'm pretty depressed at the moment. I don't think Jose's tactics are working here. And I think our aim against Fulham should be attack and uh, just defend, defend, defend. And I think we should be able to win 2-0. Uh, even I think that Spurs are clearly the better team ahead of Fulham and that Spurs can keep a clean sheet but Fulham's their defence not too um, decent and I think that Spurs will clean a clean sheet and win 2-0. Uh, same here to Southlake, I think Jose will park the bus and of course I think he might be playing like after they've got this 2-0 lead um, they should be parking the bus. Jose might bring on three centre backs and then uh, two left backs and right backs and a wing back who are really defensive. And then they'll win 2 0. Next up, the last game of this week Newcastle versus Liverpool. And Liverpool, I don't think Jurgen Klopp got his tactics right against West Brom. Uh, so I don't think Liverpool's attack were able to penetrate this uh, very good. Uh, West Brom defence and Newcastle are just one well, of the mid-table sides who lose and win and but will stay up in the Premier League every season but I think Steve Bruce's men will lose once again 2-1 to Liverpool uh, Same as you said even I think that um, Newcastle will come away with a 2-1 win as well I think that um, uh, Liverpool will um, win 3-1 with uh, Firmino scoring at least a goal and get bagging at least an assist. I think that Firmino will be the man of the match. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video.